<coughs> Dear students, today we are going to do one more theorem. The theorem is eigenvalues of a symmetric kernel are real. So, uh, for this we required the previous theorem. The theorem result is, in the previous theorem what we got here is, lambda m minus lambda n integral a to b phi m of x and phi n of x is equal to 0, we have proved that it is nothing but orthogonal. This is nothing but orthogonal where phi m and sorry, lambda m and lambda n are both are not equal. They are not equal. Since they are not equal, this becomes as an orthogonal that we have already proved in the previous theorem. So, this result, according to this result, with the help of this result, we are going to prove that all eigenvalues of symmetric kernel are real. So, for this, what we are going to do? We will take the lambda value as alpha plus i beta, such that beta may not be equal to 0, uh, is an imaginary. Uh, we are taking an imaginary such that eigenvalue for corresponding to this eigen value, there is a complex eigen function that is nothing but phi m of x, which is also, it is also in the form of psi 1 of psi 1 plus i psi 2. Then the complex conjugate, conjugate of this one means for conjugate of lambda m also can be taken as alpha minus i beta, uh, which must be an eigen uh, corresponding eigen value to that also, that is nothing but phi of m bar, m bar of x, that is psi 1, of, psi 1 minus i psi 2. So, uh, this is a complex, a complex uh, you know, a conjugate function for the phi of m and uh, lambda m bar is a conjugate for lambda m. Now, we will replace the values such that for the lambda m in the previous theorem by n, uh, n by lambda m bar and uh, phi m by phi m bar. Now, we will replace these two values in order to get that eigenvalues of symmetric kernel of real in the previous theorem. If you remember the previous theorem result, that will be taken in this here. So, therefore, by known theorem, this is the known theorem what we have done, the lambda m minus lambda n integral a to b phi of m and phi of x dx equal to z is a known theorem. Now, we are replacing uh, lambda n as lambda m bar and here phi of n as phi m bar. So, lambda m lambda n bar lambda m bar. Lambda m is nothing but alpha plus i beta. This is alpha minus i beta. If you subtract, alpha and alpha will get cancelled. So, you will be getting as 2 i beta. It will a to b phi m of x phi m of uh, x bar dx equal to 0. Since this may not be equal to 0 because uh, you have uh, psi 1 and i psi 2. Psi 1 is not equal to 0 and psi 2 is not equal to 0. This term may not be equal to 0. So, obviously, if this is not equal to 0, then now, if this is equal to 0, then the integral will be getting nothing but uh, vanishes, integral will be vanishes. So, the, because of that, it is not equal to 0. Therefore, 2 i beta, so beta is nothing but equal to 0. When beta is equal to 0, then we can say that uh, the lambda m alpha plus i beta, the beta we got as 0, then we can say that lambda m equal to alpha, which is real. So, therefore, beta equal to 0, that is the imaginary part of lambda m must be equal to 0. So, therefore, what we can prove that if this is equal to 0, then lambda m is nothing but equal to alpha, which is the result of the theorem, that is eigenvalues of a symmetric kernel are real. So, you must prove, you must remember one thing that lambda m minus lambda m integral a to b phi m of x and phi n of x equal to 0 from the previous theorem, which is we have proved as orthogonal, that result we are going to use to show that symmetric kernel are real by replacing lambda n as lambda m bar and uh, phi of n by phi m of bar and we are some simplifying this and we get that beta that imaginary part is nothing but equal to 0 so that to show that to show that the eigenvalues of symmetric kernel are real thank you